Hi and welcome to a new My Data Merge video. My name is Stefan and today I'm going to show you how My Data Merge can affect text frames, frames or text that are not direct part of the merge. Therefore, I will use a business card layout I've used in former videos, you might already know it. And I have a data source with about 500 records down here. So let's say you have a case where your client, your client says, I need special design for the business cards if in the data column VIP there's a yes. So let's say he wants to have an inverted design. So instead of a, a white color background, he wants a dark blue background. And if we have a dark blue background, we need white type over here. So um, if I apply styles, to first name, last name, which are placeholders in this business card design, it will only affect the text in this text frame over here. I cannot change um, the background color of the business card with a standard data merge. But my data merge has a new feature called replace with empty, which allows you to do so. So um, to do that, let's start by creating an empty frame and enter a placeholder in it. Let's say we we name it a background color and we spread it all over the business card, put it in the background. And what my data merge can do is to apply some object styles to this frame. If no style is, is applied, uh, the placeholder itself just gets removed. So you will not see any difference to a standard business card. You have to create an object format and I have created a dark blue background format, which basically adds a dark blue fill color to the frame. Okay. You need to test it. What happens? And if we apply it, uh, you will, you will see that, um, cause of the background color is the same than the type color over here. Um, that, it's impossible to read the text and the text down here gets impossible to read too. So we have to affect these two. Okay, let's return that. Therefore, I add a new placeholder in, uh, in this line, call it headline. And I add a new placeholder in this block, call it text. And because it's a different text frame, I add a new placeholder and call it also text. So what's the purpose of all of this? I will tell the placeholder headline to color all the text in this frame white. In a specific case, I will do the same for the standard text down here and the standard text down here. I already have a uh, paragraph format, which is called standard headline, which designs uh, which styles uh, the headline over here, like the first name and the last name. And to have a new paragraph format with white color, I just copy the standard headline over here, rename it and call it white headline. And I just change uh, the color of it to white. And as you can see now, if we apply it, white headline, the text becomes white. Now, if I apply uh, the object format, dark blue background, the headline would be correct. Okay, let's repeat that with the standard text paragraph format. We have a standard text paragraph format that colors my text in a light, in a dark gray. I just copy it and call it white text and change the color to white. And all of my font down here gets colored white. Then I have added the same, um, the same placeholder text down here. So if we apply the white text down here, you can also see uh, the font is colored correctly. Now, some, some of you might wonder, because it's a paragraph format, why um, every text down here is colored white, except the My Data Merge up here. A paragraph format applies to a paragraph and a paragraph, uh, a new paragraph starts with a hard return. And uh, I have chosen a hard return here, just pressed enter between my data merge and software street 11. And I have chosen soft returns uh, between these three lines. That means uh, the text uh, placeholder with the white text 
paragraph format applied uh, will uh, will affect all these three lines but not this one because it's not part of the paragraph okay now let's return that back to the standard text format back to the standard headline and let's um, let's remove uh, the uh, the object format from the background now what's interesting about that is that my data merge can um, apply formats to multiple instances of a placeholder so we have twice text down here as you can see and we can have twice the background color so if i add like uh, a backside a real side of the business card i can also apply the background color to the backside of the business card now let's save that and let's open a new my data merge project make a new project put the business card in here put my data source in here let's import everything now let's auto link the standard placeholders as you can see my data merge automatically link them with the data columns from the data source and down here we have our new placeholders the background color the headline and the text and now I'm going to show you how to set up these let's enter them if I would choose replace with text then my data merge will put text in the placeholder and I would see some text in the background of the business cards with which is not what we want to see I choose the keep empty and keep empty just means that the placeholder will disappear on the um, final merged data but you have the possibility uh, to uh, apply some styling so um, first of all, I only want to have the styling if uh, VIP is yes in the data source. So I add the process chain, I add a new setup, call it VIP, add a condition for this setup so it only triggers if VIP is yes. Let's choose VIP, if VIP is yes, I want this to be triggered and then I tell my data merge what to do uh, with this setup I want to have an object style applied to it so I choose my dark blue background over here okay that's all you need to do just check if the VIP setup is moved to top because otherwise the initial setup will be taken the initial setup just does nothing it only removes the placeholder itself so make sure that the condition is always above the standard setup if you want to know more about condition there's a conditions video in the youtube channel okay so let's return let's repeat that for the headline placeholder i add the process chain uh, activate the process chain i add a new setup call it vip i add a condition for that setup to only trigger it for VIP yes and I apply uh, some styling oh sorry I forgot to select uh, keep empty so this is important activate the process chain add a new setup call it VIP add a condition to only trigger it for VIP yes and apply some styling choose a paragraph style white headline instead of standard headline and make sure the VIP setup is above the standard setup so that's all you need to do let's repeat that one last time for the text setup select keep empty activate the process chain add a new setup call it VIP add a condition for the setup and this is all done without any programming knowledge and then let's apply a paragraph style white text down here and make sure that the uh, setup the VIP setup is above the initial setup so that's all you need to do to apply some specific styling let's export records 1 to 10 let's check the file type let's uh, let's have one document per record or let's have all let's have all uh, records in one document 
check the data and export, I will choose my result folder, which is positioned right up here. And it's empty right now. And let's go. And while the data merge process is working, we will have a look at uh, our data source again. And uh, in our data source, uh, we can see that for record one, two, three, four, and record seven, there is a VIP. Yes, so I expect to, I expect business card number four and number seven um, to be colored specifically. So let's have a look in the final merge file. As you can see here, we have a standard business card, number one with a standard white background, number two, number three, and number four is now colored uh, with a specific background color and also the backside is colored with a specific background color. This is a pretty, a pretty cool feature to apply styling to frames and to text uh, that are not directly uh, integrated in the merge process and you can do really, really nice things with it. If you have any more questions about it, just ask us in the support forum on mydatamerge.com or try it yourself by downloading mydatamerge on mydatamerge.com. Thank you very much.